What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video has been highly, highly awaited. I have gotten so many requests from you guys to come out with this video since I kind of, I slipped it into either a get ready with me or maybe it was like a nighttime skincare routine. And a lot of you guys noticed that it looked like my eyebrows were already done. And that is because I have been a customer or a client of getting my eyebrows tattooed for about four years now. So once I decided to like mention that topic to you guys, the questions literally like flew in. So basically in a nutshell, the reason that I waited so long to come out with this video is because I did have an eyebrow touch up, which I'm going to explain why you need touch ups. I'm going to explain so much stuff to you guys in this video. Um, but yeah, basically I had an eyebrow touch up appointment seven days ago and I wanted to get a little bit of footage from that to better help you guys understand the entire process, how it's done, how you heal, the whole nine. Off the bat, I got a little secret for you guys. There's actually absolutely nothing on my eyebrows right now. No eyebrow gel, no pencil, no powder, absolutely nothing on my eyebrows. I did have them touched up exactly seven days ago, so they are going to fade a little bit more, but I didn't want to delay in coming out this video, so I am filming like super up close today because I just want you guys to be able to see that these are my bare, now natural, but tattooed eyebrows. I will have pictures for you and before and afters all the way at the end of the video, but basically what I did is I have this huge outline here on my phone because every single time that you guys sent me in a question, I went ahead and jotted it down and hopefully I got every single one that you guys sent in. So the first subject that I wanna go over is why did you tattoo your eyebrows? I am going to be as completely honest with you guys as I can throughout this entire video. The main reason that I tattooed my eyebrows is for convenience. I mean, it's pretty cool to wake up in the morning and have your eyebrows just completely done. But more so than that, when I used to apply my eyeshadow on my eyebrows, I used to fill, actually, I used to line them with a pencil, then go over that with a brow powder and then set everything with two different brow gels. So that was a lot of work. It would take me about 15 minutes to do my eyebrows every single day because I'm such a perfectionist and I really didn't like when one looked a little bit different than the other. It was like a big pet peeve of mine. So. Those two things right there for the convenience and because it's pretty cool to be able to wash your face at night and wake up in the morning and still have your eyebrows on. It's a no brainer. Okay, so where do I get my eyebrows done? You guys have sent in this question so, so many times and I tried my hardest to write back to as many of you as possible. A lot of you guys know that I am located in New York and said that you were interested in this as well. So I did get it done in New York City by an amazing, amazing artist. Her name is April Meese. This is absolutely in no way sponsored. I contacted her, I paid for my procedure and for my mom's because we both got ours done. And um, I don't want you guys to think in any way that this is like promotion. She did not ask for a video. She does not even know that I'm a YouTuber or anything. But um, yeah, so I got it done in New York City. And when I tell you guys that I researched this artist, like I was, I swear that you would think that I was like scheduling plastic surgery or something. I did so much research and I tried, this is what I always do when I'm getting like a big procedure done. Like when I did my LASIK eye surgery. I tried to look for a negative review because I'm like, okay, if I find like one person out there that said it was a botched job or they just didn't like the results, that's enough for me to like move on to try and find somebody else. I could not find one negative review online. Um, other than that, she has an amazing portfolio. So that right there alone, like sold me. Her work sold me. All the before and afters were absolutely amazing. She has a Facebook page and I believe that she uses that more so than her Instagram page. Um, and that's where she like posts all her before and afters. I will absolutely put a link to that down below. And if I can get permission, I will try to post some of those before and after pictures right here. So you guys can see how freaking amazing eyebrow tattooing is. <laughs> April seriously is like, why am I using my hands so much when I talk? I'm so bad at that, I, I can't. I can't stop. Like I was saying, April is amazing at what she does. So she is really booked up. I think that for the next month, you can't even get in. The way that you do make an appointment with her is you schedule it online. There is a $50 deposit, but that only gets charged to your card if you are no show. So the consultation and the procedure are all done during the same day. So it's basically just one visit. That right there leads me into my next topic, which is probably, again, one of the most asked questions about the whole eyebrow tattooing thing, price. So for me, I have to say outright that I believe that it is so important that you find somebody that's amazing at what they do and not really focus on the price. With that being said, obviously, 
I'm not gonna pay $5,000 to get my eyebrows done, but I am willing to spend maybe two, three, four hundred dollars $400 more than another artist is charging because it's something that's going to be on your face for a very, very long time. So I'm gonna cut to the chase here. I know that you guys wanna know how much I paid. I paid $500 for my eyebrows. I paid the same exact price for my mom's because that actually was her Christmas gift from me and Mike this year. So $500 for my eyebrows and $500 for hers. And that is because we got the shading with the hair stroke. If you only want the hair strokes, that's a little bit more expensive. It's $600. I definitely like a lot of dimension and fullness in my eyes. I feel like the hair strokes are more for people that don't have a lot of hair, but I actually want my eyebrows to look like I powdered them in and then I like the hair strokes over. All right, I'm jumping ahead of myself because this right here is segueing into the next topic, which is the type of tattoos. Okay, so right now there are two different types that are very popular and then there's two different types of designs within those types. So I know, I make everything sound confusing. Microblading is becoming very, very popular here on YouTube. I see a lot of girls doing microblading and that is basically done with um, a little tool. It's kind of like a little razor. It has three little prongs on it and I am the worst at explaining things today. Let me try this again. It's basically a little, little, little tiny razor. It has four little prongs on it and basically what they do is they scrape up on your eyebrow the exact design that they want. After that, they go ahead and place the pigment and kind of massage it in. And as your skin heals, obviously the pigment is trapped in there. Those are your microbladed brows. Now what I got done is not microblade. I got it done by an actual tattoo gun. So in a nutshell, to kind of explain to you guys why I went that route instead of the microblading is because A, I like a little bit more of like a powdered look. I did not want only the strokes alone. I wanted the combination of the powdered in eyebrow with the strokes going over it. And that's something that you actually cannot achieve with microblading. On top of that, it's pretty much the same exact price as microblading, maybe about $100 more, and the results last a lot longer. It basically is a true tattoo it is going to kind of fade throughout the years and you do have to go for these touch-ups but that's basically with just about any tattoo but the tattoo that they do with the actual tattoo gun which it's not like you go into a tattoo parlor it's an actual beauty gun that they use it's very very different than what they use to tattoo your body but it is going to last a lot longer than what microblading will last here's the biggest myth that i have so many people asking me if this is true or not and it irks me because it sounds so scary and this definitely would have prevented me from getting my eyebrows done. You guys ask me all the time, do they have to shave your eyebrows off before they can tattoo them in? No, they don't remove any hair at all, nothing. There is no shaving, there is no waxing, your hair stays the exact way that it is. They fill it in with the tattoo but they do not need to remove any hair. So get that out of your head. I wanna quickly talk about touch-ups because basically what April does, her touch-up is included in that $500 price. Some people charge a separate charge so they'll have like a lower price to get your eyebrows done and then they'll include a separate charge to go for your touch-up. But most artists do require you to come back pretty much anywhere between four to six weeks after you go ahead and get your eyebrows done for a touch-up. And basically what that means is they're just fine tuning. They go in, she has actually, it's so funny, she puts this thing over her face that looks like she's about to, you guys know what I'm talking about? Like that guy with the fire that has that like thing and no? Okay. This mask thing gives her like super HD, like zoomed in microscopic vision. And she goes in and fine tunes wherever she feels like there's a stroke missing or maybe it faded a little bit too much in the front or the back. And it's basically just the fine finishing touches. My eyebrows right now have not had their touch up just yet. So they are not perfect. I can already see a couple of spaces where I feel like Okay, I feel like you could put a stroke there, maybe a stroke here, maybe go down a little bit more in the front. Um, basically, she likes to see how your skin heals before she can go ahead and perfect your finishing, your finished eyebrows, we're gonna say. <laughs> we're gonna go with that. So now I wanna take a couple of seconds to talk about the procedure and how it is done. So it's definitely, I'm telling you guys, I cannot handle pain good at all. Like I am one of those people that even when I get a needle at the doctor's office, I'm like, oh, I can't look. So I know like the thought of me getting a tattoo, cause that's essentially what it is on my face. Well, two tattoos really. It sounds so much scarier than what it is, okay? 
This is coming from someone that does have tattoos on her body and I can tell you that it's such a different experience than when you do like a cosmetic tattoo on your face because the ones on the body hurt. I'm not gonna lie, they hurt. So the first step when you walk into April's office is you go ahead and you sit down in the waiting room and she comes out right away with the numbing cream. Basically what it is, it's a topical lidocaine and they slather it all over your eyebrows. They let you have that soak in for a good 25 minutes before you're even called back to see her. So you are already completely numbed up by the time you get back there. And it's really cool because you can sit in the waiting room and she has all of her like portfolios and before and after pictures. So you can kind of get an idea in your head of what you want. You could bring it in and show her. You could also bring your own pictures in. I brought a whole bunch of Instagram pictures in of what I wanted and what I didn't want. So we definitely were on the same page. Then after that, she moves on to color. So what she does is she actually swatches it right on your forehead. Forehead, the two colors that she thinks would be the best for you. She goes according to your ethnicity, to your skin tone, to the color of your hair, basically everything. She takes your profile. So basically she gives her opinion on what she feels would be the best choice for you, but you have as much input as you want. If you feel like you tend to go a little bit darker or you like the darker look or you like a lighter look, you can pick out your color as much as you want. You could be as picky as you want, but it is a process where you kind of narrow down the colors together until you have your perfect color or colors that she's gonna mix and you know put on your eyebrows. So for me, we ended up on a mixture. I believe the name, I wanna say the name is Cherry Cola. And then she also mixed another dark brown on top to go ahead and do the strokes. So after you go ahead and decide on a color, that is when the whole design element comes in. So basically, you have one of two choices. You can come in with your natural bare eyebrows and let her design what she feels looks good for your face shape and everything or you can go ahead and come in with them already like exactly how you want them and then she can tweak it until you guys have something that's perfect she goes in and she measures everything so they're the same distance the same height it's very very like mathematical she's very much a perfectionist which i personally love because i am the same exact way with my eyebrows and i love that i'm like working with someone that eyebrows are just as important to you as they are to me because to some people i mean they're just eyebrows but there's so much more than that. So after you pick the design, after you pick the color, April is ready to go ahead and tattoo your eyebrows. And what she actually does right then and there is takes off the numbing cream and puts another slather of it all on. So I'm telling you, you are so numb by the time she actually gets to painting on or tattooing on the strokes and the shading, you do not feel anything. That is the biggest question overall, does it hurt? You guys know, let me let me put it in perspective. Over the summer on my vlog channel, um, my dog scratched me on my face and I was a mess. I was crying, I, I lost it, okay? Like that was the most painful thing in the world to me. Long story short, I can't take pain, like at all. With the amount of numbing cream that she used, I can honestly tell you guys, I did not feel anything. Neither did my mom. In the past from other artists, I have felt a little bit of like a sharp, tinge like kind of when you're tweezing your eyebrows like a little like somebody's scratching you and it's getting irritated and they continue to scratch 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 but with april i felt absolutely nothing and i i feel like this video sounds very sponsored and it feels like i'm being paid to talk about her but i cannot say enough good things about my experience and i honest to god did not feel anything throughout the entire procedure at all now as far as time like how long we were in the office i'm not gonna lie our appointment was at 1 30. we were a little bit late because we're we're hispanic so you know we got there at around 1 45 and we did not leave until 7 30 but that is because there was a lot of yapping and it was also because i decided to go ahead and tattoo my top eyeliner as well this is not it not it i did a very 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 fine like definer line that basically just makes your lashes look a lot longer it's not winged out it's not very noticeable to be honest with you guys when i don't have makeup on it just defines my lashes that's a whole nother video if you guys want me to talk about that just let me know i can do that no problem for the actual time that she's tattooing your eyebrows it takes maybe like 40 minutes very fast so now we're gonna fast forward to now, basically the healing stage. So you cannot apply any makeup at all for seven days, you can't get them wet, you can't sweat, you want to baby these things. They're expensive, you want them to heal the right way. So basically I was laid up for like seven days, I didn't do anything. 
not gonna lie. No makeup, no sweating, no tears, nothing. So me and my mom actually did not apply any type of Vaseline or A&D ointment or anything onto our eyebrows because April explained because in the past when I had gone to a different artist, they did have me use Vaseline and A&D ointment every single day for seven days. So I asked her, how come you're telling us not to? The other artist told us yes. So basically she said that the more ointment that you kind of slather over your eyebrows, it's going to kind of diffuse your finished product. And since me and my mom wanted the hair strokes to be pretty defined, especially because we're doing it over that powdered look, we're not gonna put the ointment over on top because we don't want it to diffuse more and make it so that you can't really see the lines. But I do have to say that my finished product eyebrows are going to look a lot different than this. They are a lot darker right now, I wish. To be honest with you guys, I wish that they would stay like this, but since I have experience with this before, I know that they are going to significantly fade and look a little bit more natural than this, which I think is better for like the ideal everyday person. I know that I like really, really bold brows, but if you think about it, when you wash your face, you don't want your brows to look super, super out there. You still want it to look natural. So the little strokes that I have in my eyebrows now, they are going to kind of diffuse out and soften up a little bit. And I didn't want them to soften up too much. So that is why we did not heal with an ointment every single day. So basically it's really easy. You just can't get your eyebrows wet, no makeup for seven days. They do itch. So you have to refrain from picking at them. And yeah, seven days later, you're pretty much good to go. Question that I got a lot, what if the trends change? I do feel like this is a very important question and um, that is because it's true. Eyebrows can be very trendy. Right now it is trendy to have really, really bold, big out there brows. And back in the day, as far as like when I was going to high school, I know it was in style to have like really, really thin, like Pamela Anderson, tiny little lines for eyebrows. So the trends absolutely do change, but what I did and all the times that I got my eyebrows tattooed, I feel like it is very important to stick with what looks good for your face shape. I would never tattoo something on my face that could go in and out of style. This is the way that I like my eyebrows, whether it was in style or not. I personally think that my face can kind of stand for more thicker, bolder brows because I do wear my liquid liner every single day. I have really out there lashes, so I feel like my face balances it out well. I hope that that makes sense to you guys, but basically I'm not afraid of the trends of how I have my eyebrows now coming or going because I honestly, I feel like it just, it suits my face no matter what everybody else is doing. And of course somebody has to text me. How are you gonna text me your lunch when it's 12.28 and I still haven't even had breakfast yet? Okay, so we are going to wrap all this up. I do wanna show you guys some footage right now of what it looked like before I went ahead and touched up my eyebrows. So I did have them previously tattooed, but I was going to April to get them touched up. So I will show you guys what it looked like the morning of before I had April touch them and what they look like now seven days in. I definitely want you guys to keep in mind that they are going to lighten a little bit more. They are gonna soften up and I still have to go for my touch up appointment. If you guys wanna see a video on that, also just let me know and I can definitely do that for you. And very quickly before I let you guys go, in case I confused any of you because I do feel like I am rambling a lot in this video, I know that you guys are gonna ask how long do they last because I have been talking about seeing different artists and this is my second time, this is my third time. So basically when you get your eyebrows done, it is a permanent tattoo. They are never going to 100% fade. Like they're never gonna just disappear. As far as when you get it done with the tattoo gun, I don't know about microblading because I've never gotten that done. So it is always going to be there, but it will fade over time. If you're someone that goes out in the sun a lot, it's going to fade a lot faster. If you're very oily, it will fade a lot faster. And if you use a lot of like heavy face creams, it can also fade a lot faster. So basically what you want to do is go for a touch up at between every two to five years. So some people like me are just anal and touch them up like a little bit more than necessarily required but they do recommend that you touch them up every two to five years and it's called color boost and i believe it's around two hundred dollars and that's just to maintain your brows all right guys and that is it for this video i am so sorry that it's a very long video but i had a lot of questions coming in like i said i wrote them down as they were coming in and i wanted to make sure to cover as many of them as possible so before i let you guys go let's do a quick zoom in let me focus this guy up so you guys can see what we're working with, again, there's absolutely nothing at all on my eyebrows. That is just um, the tattoo, the two tattoos. My sister likes to tell me you got two tattoos on your face on some Mike Tyson shit. 
And yeah, I will be getting my touch up in about six weeks from now. And you guys know that I will be showing you guys the results then too. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope that I answered all of your questions. And don't be afraid if you are thinking of doing it because it is life changing and seriously like one of the best decisions I ever made. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you soon. Mwah. Bye.